Good morning. Welcome to The Ram Show. I'm Leah. And I'm Sophia, reporting live from the Steve Bonnets TV studio. The NOW Club and Social Justice Club will have a joint meeting today, Wednesday, March 22nd, to honor Women's History Month. We will meet in room 159. Refreshments will be provided. The next GSA Club meeting will be held Thursday, March 23rd. Charlie Labick, a Springford graduate, will speak to us about his work as a licensed professional counselor. He works at Devereaux to make an impact with youth in the area. Charlie will cover topics ranging from coming out, social issues, dating, stress, and more. Please join us on March 23rd in room 251 to meet Charlie and hear all about his work with the LGBTQ community. As always, snacks will be provided. Seniors, as you enter the second half of your year, it's time to reflect on the individuals who's, who have impacted your time here at Springford. All seniors are invited to recognize those individuals at the Senior Impact Awards on May 3rd, 2023. You can nominate any school employee who has made an impact in your life. All nominations are due by Sunday, March 26th. Take a look at last year's Impact Awards. chose Coach Kirkus. He's my coach for wrestling, football, and my art teacher too, and he really just taught me like what I wanted to be when I was older. He just ingrained that in me. No, I'm honored. I'm honored. I don't like to say I have favorites, but he's one of them. Everything he embodies is what you want in a student athlete. I'm awfully proud of him. She made a big impact on me because I think that she really went out of her way to get me involved in things that challenged me when I was in elementary school. And the biggest thing that she did was like, if tell, she told all of us that were in her class to embrace the things that made them unique, even if those things were kind of weird. But you know, I think that's a really good message to have throughout your life. It's a huge, huge honor. Uh, this is my first year retired, and to be remembered, especially by this amazing alley. She did such really great things. Are you thinking about a career as a teacher? The Future Teachers of Springford Club will be holding its next meeting after school on Tuesday, March 28th in room 266. Refreshments will be served. If you are unable to attend, stop by room 266 or 291 for more info. The Diversity Club will meet on Wednesday, March 29th at 2.30 in room 404, the 9th grade center. All are welcome. Student Council will be running a blood drive on Thursday, March 30th in the 10-12 center auxiliary gym from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. This drive is for students in grades 10 through 12 who are at least 16 years old. Check high school headlines for the sign-up link, a video with information regarding the drive, guidelines, and, and requirements to donate. Earlier this month, SF Investigates, our new series, took on the mysterious case of Larry Ebert, a former math teacher. Here's the update. Welcome back to SF Rams Investigate. We have an update about our investigation into Larry Ebert and his secret office. We are pleased to report that the mystery has been solved. On March 14th, Mr. Horn's class were given the unclaimed briefcase and an envelope of assorted mathematical papers in the hopes that through their efforts, some light could be shed, shed on the situation. Through an exhaustive search of the materials and the deductive reasoning skills of those classes, students were able to discover that the code for the briefcase was actually pi, or at least its first six, di six digits, 3.14159. This led to further clues that resulted in a search of locker 3141 and eventually to room 214 of the 1012 building. In that room, they discovered an ancient teaching tool called an overhead projector, which revealed the location of a movable bookcase and a key. 
The key opened a hidden door behind the bookcase, which revealed Mr. Ebert's secret office. Not only did he have a desk in the office, but also a television, VCR, refrigerator, microwave, clothing rack, and bed. Apparently, he still visits Springport when no one is here to see him. Although he was not in the room when the students made the discovery, in true Mr. Ebert fashion, there was a Pi Day message and a treat for every student. Attention juniors, applications are available for the Irish Exchange Program. All applications are due by April 4th. Book club is reading before the coffee gets cold. The next meeting will be on April 12th at 2.30 in room 406 of the 9th grade center. This year, the Major Twos will be holding an egg hunt before the spring break. Be sure to follow the Instagram at sf.egghunt for more information coming soon. The first student that has all the answers to the upcoming Easter riddles will win the golden egg. Our first riddle is, what day do Easter eggs hate the most? Again, what day do Easter eggs hate the most? That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.